Hi, I'm Gary Steinkart. I'm a book writer and the author of Absurdistan, a novel. I like me my Vladimir Nabokov, uh, or Nabokov, as Americans like to call him. Uh, my favorite of his books is Pnin, which I find is better than Lolita even. It's very humane, it's very cute. It's about an immigrant who don't speak English so good, uh, and he teaches at an American university, and all kinds of comedy hijinks ensue. It's funny and touching. Yeah, when I was four or five, my grandmother in, in Leningrad commissioned a a, a little novel about uh, Lenin and how he meets this magical goose and they try to invade Finland together and create a socialist revolution there and in the end Lenin eats the goose for sort of Bolshevik Menshevik political tension reasons. My, my grandmother paid me by the page and she paid me every slice of cheese a little slice of Soviet cheese for every page. That's how Random House pays me now too so there's not much difference. Do you need cheese to write now? I need cheese to write. That's my Motto, I need cheese to write. In a weird way, well, the novel is divided into two parts. There's a part in St. Petersburg, Russia, and then there's Absurdistan, which is a fictional country. But oddly enough, St. Petersburg is more fictional, I think, than, than Absurdistan. St. Petersburg, I created a kind of fantasia, you know, with all kinds of crazy things going on, really modeled after 19th century Russian literature, like. Um, Goncharov's Oblomov, a story about a very big noble who never gets off his couch and constantly throws his shoe at his manservant. But Absurdistan was actually based on a lot of the research I did in countries like Azerbaijan and Georgia. And in my mind, that's more of a, it's even more realistic. In, in fact, that second part of the book is really just journalism. Yeah, I'm imagining a reader who has twenty-four ninety-five to spare for a book. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I, I'm imagining a uh, no reader at all. I, I write primarily to amuse myself. That's how I started writing. Um, well, that's not exactly true. When I was in Hebrew school, it was a very tough time to be a Russian. All those movies, uh, Red Dawn, Red Gerbil, Red Hamster, it was very hard to be Russian. And so I started writing a, a version of the Torah called the Genora. Uh, you know, Exodus became Sexodus, stuff like that. And and so that made me my first American friends. And I think maybe perhaps uh, I'm not just writing for myself, but also for future American friends, especially those that follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I like fiscal year. That's a nice way to put things, you know, because we're such a capitalist society that calendar year doesn't really cut it. You know, it's fiscal year 2012. Ah, it's going to be a good fiscal year. I like the, word, the words hamburger helper. You know, uh, it's one of the first commercials I saw in America. Hamburger Helper helps you make a great meal. And then I think there was an Italian version where he was a hamburger helper. Uh, anyway, it really changed the way I looked at, at, at beef between patties. I love all words. I really do. I, you know, they're so endangered. Uh, it's, whenever I see a word, I just want to preserve it in some kind of sacred ecosystem. Well, uh, I wake up around 11.30 usually, unless I'm doing a, a broadcast. Uh, then uh, I eat uh, a meal until about 1. Then from 1 to 4 is the writing time. I write in bed. I don't even get out of bed. Then uh, 4.30 to 5.20 is the, the psychiatric appointment that most New York writers have. Then 6 o'clock we all get together at Cafe Sabarsky. It's this wonderful Viennese, after our psychiatry uh, cafe on, uh, at the Neue Gallery on Fifth Avenue. Then we have our strudel there and the cafe mit Schlag. Then from 7 to 12 is the drinking with the writers. That, that's very... Then 12 to 1 a.m. is the crying hour when we cry over the imminent destruction of, of uh, the publishing industry and the fact that we'll all have to find other jobs. And then we sleep for about 11 hours, very deep, depressive sleep, and then the process begins again. Oh, <laughs>